Hi, my name is Tel Koenderink and I'm the founder and master trainer of Novolo, where we help schools, teachers and parents create a place for gifted and talented children. And what I want to do today with you guys is tell you a story about life attitude. What attitude do you take in your life? And this is one of the most important things that I think we can give our children. When you're raising your children, you're giving them an attitude. Skills, they can learn. Knowledge, easy. But life attitude is something that sticks with you forever and will be the determining factor whether you will or will not get those skills, whether you will or will not get that knowledge. And the way I learned it was in a meditation retreat. I spent 10 days meditating 10 hours a day. I mean, imagine, 10 hours a day of meditation for 10 days in a row in complete silence. This tests your nerve. And it was called a Vipassana retreat. And we were talked to by the, the great guru Goenka, and nothing less than a guru, of course. And the high point of every day was at 7 p.m. We would get a movie of Goenka in the style of the Buddha, telling stories to help us on our path to enlightenment. And one of the stories really stuck with me and I want to share it with you today because it, I think it holds a profound truth. There is a mother in the old India and she has three sons. And one day she needs oil to cook. So she goes to her first son and she says, son, here, are, here is a vase and here are 10 rupees. Please go to the market and get some oil for me so I can continue cooking. So the first son is like, yay, I'll go do that. And he's off to the market and he buys, he buys the oil, comes back, but along the way he trips, drops, and loses half the oil. He comes home and he says, Mom, Mom, it's awful. I fell and I lost half the oil. And oh, it's awful. This is the worst day ever. And his mother is like, well, well, it's not that bad. But yeah, the next day she's stuck because she doesn't have enough oil. So she sends her second son. Second son goes off to the market, gets oil, comes back, but also he trips, comes back and says, Mom, this is the best day ever. I fell, I tripped. I'm still in one piece. The vase is still in one piece. I saved half the oil. How awesome is that? So his mom is like, well, it's not that cool, you know? So the third day, she needs more oil. Third son. Third son goes on the way, gets oil, comes back, he also trips. I suspect some kind of a motor skill problem in this family, but that's a different discussion. He comes home and he says, mother, I fell. I'm in one piece, the face is in one piece. I saved half the oil, but I lost half the oil. That is the reality as it is. Now I will go back to the market and I will work for two and a half hours for this merchant and I will make enough money to buy another half vase of oil. And then we'll have the full vase of oil we intended in the first place. And I believe this philosophy. I think this is a great metaphor. Because I don't believe in optimists. It's not all great, it's not all perfect, and it's not always going to be this way. It's not pessimistic either. Because it's not awful. Doomsday hasn't arrived yet. The apocalypse isn't near. And... You know, this isn't the way it's going to stay forever either. But there's a third road. There is always something you can do to make it better. And that should be the guiding question of your life. What can I do to make it better? Because it has three important things. What can I? So who is responsible? Me. Step number two. Do. Not talk about, not philosophize, not, you know, get away with what can I do to make it better. Not perfect, not happily ever after, but better. And as long as we do those things, we will move ahead in life. What can I do to make it better? Or if you're helping somebody else, what can you do to make it better? And what can I do to help you in that? So if you think this is interesting, this is all about mindset, about attitude. And it also a little bit about what I call attribution style. It's a part of psych psychology. And it's also about what to change, you know. If something's not going right in your life, should you change yourself or the environment or stuff like that. If you're interested in this, sub this subject, please go to facebook.com slash Novilo International. It's undoubtedly on the page here somewhere. Because as soon as you like the page, you get another three movies elaborating on these three themes. It's going to show you some things about mindset, some things about 
attribution styles and a, a movie about what should be changed. Okay, awesome. Remind yourself of this story. What can I do to make it better? And when you do that, you will bring out the best of yourself and in each other.